Hi, I'm Richard Slade from the Seaward Group and in this short video we're going to take you through the process of testing an extension lead. So, here we have our extension lead. After carrying out the thorough visual inspection, we'll then go and move to proceed on to doing the electrical safety tests. So to do this, I'm going to switch my tester on and I'm going to plug my extension lead into the PAT tester and then loop the IEC lead round back into the top of the instrument here. I'm going to select my class 1 test and during the test it will run through a sequence of tests, first carrying out the earth continuity check and indicating pass or fail on that particular test, then swiftly moving through to the insulation test and then following that the polarity check and the test will indicate overall that I've got a pass on this particular extension lead. At that point I will then label the appliance um, to indicate that it's passed its PAT test and log the results in a PAT log book. Just a few other things to consider when PAT testing extension leads. It's considered good practice to carry out the PAT test at each socket outlet. So in this instance, we would repeat the test four times. You may also come across surge protected extension leads. So therefore you need to ensure that the equipment that you are using has the facility to test at 250 volts. The last thing to consider as well is extensions that have longer cable. The PAT testers may indicate a failure so in this instance, what we'd need to do is take the reading from the tester and reference the latest code of practice. Thank you for taking the time to watch our short video. For more information, please visit our website. And for the latest industry news and events, please follow us via our social media. Look forward to seeing you soon.